hi guys and welcome to today's video so today's video is basically going to be us doing this look it's pinky with a little hint of purple a little hint of mauve but mostly pink it's simple eyes a bold lip dewy glowy skin and lots of highlighter that's basically what we're doing today it's a simple look for if you don't feel like doing the whole full glam cut crease situation it's just wash of pink on the eyes cute lip and then I get into the skin and it's simple it's cute it's flirty it's date night appropriate and yeah I hope you guys like this video as always like this video if you like this video give me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to subscribe to my channel because there's gonna be a lot more videos coming especially a lot of dope black history month videos so if you're into that definitely subscribe and without further ado let's just get into the video Okay guys, so basically today's tutorial is going to be everything but the eyebrows, okay? Um, I'm literally getting them waxed tomorrow, don't even, don't look at them, like seriously, I haven't had them waxed in like three months or more, or almost four months, three or four months, so like don't even, eyes down, okay? They don't exist. Okay guys, so first off we're going to get right into our BH Cosmetics Novu Neutrals Palette. I'm taking those two big blush shades and I'm running those in my transition area with a big fluffy brush. I'm using this brush because I want it to be very diffused and soft at the edges. I don't want any harsh lines. Next after that I'm going to go into my Morphe 35B palette and go into this matte pink shade. And I tried putting that all over the lid but it was way lighter on my skin tone than I expected. And it wasn't giving me what I wanted. So. After that, I went back in with a more tapered crease brush and I went back into those same two blush shades from the Nova Neutrals palette to kind of deepen up the crease and apply the pigment a little bit more heavier. But it still wasn't deep enough for what I wanted. So I ended up going into the James Charles palette and adding the shade Skip, which is like a hot, like the bright pink shade in that palette. I wasn't trying to take it there, but I ended up taking it there and it was really bright. So I ended up just blending and blending and blending so it would look more diffused and not so like stark. After that, the matte shade on the lid just did not work out, so I ended up wiping it off with a makeup wipe. And then I decided to go back into the Charles palette and take this light pinky shade. I don't know the name of it, I lost my name sheet. So this light pinky shade, but on my skin tone it looks more white, yellowish, like champagne than pink or anything. It's way too light. So I ended up going with a darker pink on top of it. I think I took another, um, I took a sparkly pink from the Nova Neutrals palette also and I put that on top of it to make it more pink on my skin tone. And not like yellow you can clearly see on this eye that it's totally different but yeah after that i just cleaned up my face and my makeup wipes to get up any fallout anything like that so then we can start doing the base so for my base i'm applying my l'oreal follow matte lock primer i'm putting that everywhere that i get oily everywhere that i crease everywhere that i have pores i'm putting on my l'oreal lumi primer and this is just like a nice glowy primer and it gives you a nice glow on your foundation the color can be initially off-putting because it's so white but your foundation covers it all up so it's fine after that, I'm adding some liquid highlighter, and of course I'm taking something that's a little bit more like a pinky tone, neutral pinky tone, as opposed to something more golden, and I'm just highlighting all the high points of my face so we'll have a nice healthy glow under our foundation. After that, I'm applying foundation. I believe I used my Milani Conceal and Perfect in the shade 08A, and that should be Warm Sand, and my Maybelline Fit Me in 228, that's soft tan. So I mixed those two together, and I started stippling out with my BH Cosmetics foundation brush brush oh my gosh also i'm sorry if the voiceover sounds weird i'm literally coming down with a terrible cold i think i'm actually getting strep throat so please forgive me um for concealer we're going into the nyx hd concealer in the shade number four and i don't know if the shade number is the same i have a really old one and then we're gonna go into the l'oreal and follow pro glow line in the shade number five it just matches my skin tone so it helps uh blend in that lighter colored concealer really well and I'm blending everything in with a brush. I've been blending my concealer with a brush recently and I've actually really been liking it. But I do end up going over with a sponge. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Pooh, I'm about to lose a lung, y'all. I'm about to lose my whole lung. So after that, I'm going to be setting my under eyes with the Cody Airspun Powder. And my Morphe something brush. I don't know. And then after that, I'm adding more liquid highlighter. More highlighter. You just want to glow. This look is really about the skin and we just want highlighter everywhere. So after that, I am going to bake my nose because my, my nose still gets oily. So I'm baking my nose and my smile line so it can last long throughout our night, our date, whatever we're doing. Then I'm taking a huge bronzer brush and I'm going to the e.l.f. contour kit 
like I do in every single video, literally, and I'm just bronzing at the skin. We don't want to look too pale. We want to look warm and, you know, cute and glowy and not pasty, you know? So I took this smaller tapered contour brush and I took it into a deeper shade trying to like chisel out my cheekbones and it was way too chiseled and I did not expect that so I ended up having to blend that with a bronzer brush a lot. Just a lot of blending. After that I took a matte like light pink blush and I just put it all over my cheeks. Not too heavy but not natural either. We're trying to let it be seen. After that on the just my apples on my cheeks I put Milani's Luminoso. It has a slight bit of shimmer on it so I put it just on the apples. I don't like shimmer everywhere. Also with my blush now, I put it over my nose, I put it on my forehead, I put it on my chin. It just looks really natural, but I also love that the, um, I love the rosy look that it gives you, like, on your nose. I love that. So now I'm going to contour with my, uh, same bronzer. I'm going into a very light shade. I'm just bringing my nose structure back. And then for highlight, we're going to go in with the Morphe M501 brush and Precious Petals from Wet n Wild. It's a nice neutral shade, and it's so gorgeous and blingy and shiny. And I mean, just look at it, it's a beautiful highlighter. So we put that literally head to toe. Cheekbones, Cupid's bow, bridge your nose, everything, girl. And now we're gonna put the same highlighter, this is all precious petals, I'm putting the same highlighter in my inner corners and my brow bones, so we can just look very cohesive and snatched, okay? This is a very monochromatic kind of look. Oh, and here's a trick. This is actually a trick that I learned from Yuki. It's where you highlight your cupid's bow. So you highlight the two protruding parts, and then you put a little, a little bit of highlighter in the middle, and then highlight the actual bow itself. And it makes your lips super defined and super pretty, and it just looks really pouty and kind of pretty. So after that, for our lower lash line, I'm literally taking the same crease colors on the same brush and just running it down there again. And then for our eyebrows, I'm just running in some e.l.f. brow gel. It's literally $2 clear brow gel. You can't really do much better. I mean, you wouldn't pay more, but I mean, $2 is good for me. So for our mascara, we're actually going a little bit more high end. We're using the Marc Jacobs Mascara and the Lancome Monsieur Big. I had to do the combination because they were getting kind of old. Then for lips, I had to do this Overlook lipstick that I could not find the, sh the shade name of for the life of me. I could not find it. It's this really pretty blue toned pink, which is really outside my comfort zone. I usually hate these kind of colors, but I gave it a shot and I really ended up liking it. Okay guys, so this is our finished look. Basically, we just have a bold lip, pretty monochromatic eyes, a nice amount of highlighter, blended skin, bronze, and gorgeous, yeah. All right, guys, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys like this look. I really do like it, and it's a little bit different, especially the lip color. So, yeah, it's cute. It's perfect for Valentine's. It's flirty. It's nice. It's glowy. It's everything. So, yeah, if you liked it or if you do look like this, let me know. I definitely want to see it. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. If you made it this far into the video, you should already subscribe. If you're not, get on it. The button's down there. Like, just get on that for me, okay? Thanks. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to put some other videos on the screen, suggested ones, if you want to see other videos from me. Those are cool, too. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!